like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Lows, 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 King Lows, what are you doing, what are you doing, <sighs> you already know who it is man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, 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 don't let none of that get too far ahead of you, you know who I be, yo, I want to talk about Rare Breed Entertainment face-offs last night, they did go down, I want to talk about two face-offs in particular, and what I got, the thoughts that I have coming out of them, um, I did peep them last night and today. Uh, King Los versus uh, Ill Will. I'm going to talk about that face off. And I want to talk about Big K versus Murder Mook. Um, I picked up some very, very interesting knowledge yesterday. And I don't want to be apoplectic or angry in correspondence to when I'm thinking about the preponderance of things that happen. Like, let me just put it into literal terms. You got. Murder Mook with Big K, they're going back and forth. They talking, they talk. And Murder Mook goes to the whole race thing. That's some real live white supremacy shit almost, man. He gonna pay. Bro, why you telling the nigga he gonna pay? Bro, he will pay. Yo, why you gonna say he gotta pay? Shit, yeah, yo, yo, he gonna pay. Like, what? LeBron, why is it that LeBron before a nigga to wanna pay? He just did an interview and said, yo, he missed, will they will pay. make you pay. But it's racist when I say it. Why is it that deep, though? I dig it. He will bro. pay. You will pay. What am I pay you for? Will. You will. That's why I like. Yes, 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 yes. It's either yes. that or you a hater. Both. You a hater. All right, cool. I can respect that. I hate trash for sure. Then let's go with you, you a hater. Saying? Let's go you with you a hater. Some bullshit sometimes. So sometimes you mad that somebody got to come. Yo, clean you it up. said out your See, that's you the problem with y'all. Like people me. get a shot at y'all from the golden era. They pay homage. Look, here he go with this shit. I'm not paying homage, bro. Yo, you gonna bend the knee, bro? If you're going to do this. Versus Big K in that blue room. See, I've been there before. I've seen it. They had the last blue room joint where Big K went crazy on A Ward. One damn near 3 0. The fans are there. They want to see rap. They want to see bars. They want to see big moments. If you come in there playing with this race angle, the white man, and da -da -da, you're not going to win. I'm Watch your mouth, please. Nah, I don't. Please I'm watch straight. your mouth nah, when you're talking what? about people. You're talking about grown-ass I don't give a fuck. They jump in the face about face grown -ass. If they jump in the face off, watch your mouth, shit. bro. Nah, you're talking I'm about grown-ass. I, I know. Watch the dick in the world for all that shit. Like, you bugging the fuck out. Nigga, you don't get a chance to say shit like that. You white, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? Watch your fucking mouth, bro. I just white did it. My mouth ain't bleeding. My mouth ain't bleeding. My mouth ain't bleeding. No, my ain't, mouth ain't bleeding. Ain't, 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 ain't no sure, white boys sure, gonna be talking sure, about none of my it. niggas. Talking about fuck. I don't care who it is. I'm gonna say whatever I want to. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna take an embarrassing loss to to Big K. Um, Big K wasn't even phased. Like he said things like. I'm with the gangsters when I'm by myself. Cause you can hear the favoritism in the room. Like you can hear it. Like when Mook is talking to his crowd, you can hear them heckling and shit like that, and talking in the background and woo -woo -woo. And that's to be understood and that's to be known and I'm not even tripping off that. But when you start doing the, you a white man in this industry and blah, 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 blah. You're not gonna let that white, blah, 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 bro. We don't, we don't give a fuck. We just here to see bars, I'm telling you. That's what the fans are there to see. The fans want to see who's going to outbar who, who's going to perform at a high level. Because this delusion of, oh, just because I'm black, I'm going to win, or the, 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 the freedom fighter, the sojourner truth, and that turn, bro, that shit is, try it. You can try it if you want to. We're going to be here to talk about it. Uh, I will say this, salute to ARP, salute to Rare Breed. Their face-offs are actually interesting. Like, their face-offs... No knock on no other leagues and their face-offs and shit like that, but these face-offs actually have a face-off feel. I seen the Coach Coleon and Payne going back and forth. I seen Coach Coleon getting up, saying he was going to slap him. I seen Payne with his middle finger up. I, that's my mood every day. Like, middle finger up, what are you going to do? You're not going to do nothing to me. Let it happen. I'm there for it. Shout out to my man with the AK-47, whoever his name is, the security guard. I don't know. He was there promptly in time to get in between. Anything before it really, really, really went to the next level, but I like the energy. Almost about the fights, always working battle rap. I'm gonna slap you, I'll knock you out, 
it always works. It's battle rap anyway, so I mean, I'm all for that. And um, I still have, who was I going with in that one? 2 1 either way is how I had Payne and Coach Colonial. But the Murder Mook and BK, man, I had Murder Mook 2 1. I might be leaning towards BK. After seeing this face off and what happened, I, I'm still 2 1 ish. <sighs> Last, like, I seen. I, 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 I'm I going over to Big K. I got Big K 2-1. I just have this feeling in my mind that Murray Mook is going to find a way to either fuck up the battle by talking crazy and the long rounds and the, the, the angle and shit, and Big K is just coming in to rap. He's literally coming in to rap, and he's going to punch. I have a good eye feeling that he's going to punch away today. And um, it, it should still be a good battle, but... I just hear from 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 the face off, but I'm not even here for that. I am not here for Big K versus Murder Move, which consequently is kind of crazy because it is the main event of the whole card, which is Divided Caucus Salute to Red Breed Entertainment. We will be watching it today on pay per view rapgrig.com. No bootlegs, no watch parties, none of that shit, nigga. We got your eyes on you. Um, but I will say this, right? Uh, King Los, King King Los. I watched your face off because I didn't watch it last night. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't watch it because I wasn't interested. I, I just was not. I heard that you was gonna do the face off with Ill Will, but I'm not really interested in hearing what a King Los has to say in correspondence to a big uh, a, a Ill Will because his head is so far up here in the clouds. He's so gassed. He's so uh, egotistical that it's like I don't even want to hear it. But I had seen so much adverse reaction to it and the way that people were talking that made me say, let me go online. Let me go see what this nigga's talking about. I went to go see it, and when I tell you this, I was shocked. He's like, I don't have to do this. I'm coming from my house in the hills. You didn't shake my hand. That's how I felt. I was like, no, this nigga didn't just walk the fuck around like he didn't feel me sitting in this motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> You know I'm in this motherfucker. Yeah, Fuck yeah. you niggas talking about pause, nigga. I'm me, mm. nigga. And any, any one of you niggas could be next, nigga. Why? You felt my aura in the room, nigga. What does that have to do with anything, Los? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? You are losing, you're, you're, you're losing your mind, bro. Like, what, what are you thinking about? Come on, my nigga, get it together. Like, bro, this is rap. Ain't you supposed to be from Baltimore? I thought you were from Baltimore. I say you from Baltimore. I don't know no Baltimore niggas that move like that. You got a real egotistical attitude when you're moving like a diva. Not gonna lie. Bro, we all, like, niggas got houses. I got a nice house and all of that, too. But, bro, what? Bro, the way you was talking about Ill Will, you made Ill Will jump out of character. Ill Will don't ever really be jumping out of character too much. But it got to the point where he was like, fuck your house on the hill. Fuck your accomplishments. You not Jay-Z. You not Diddy. You're like, and that's the same thing I promise you. Everybody else be thinking the same thing. Listen, Los. Niggas is cool with you being, you know, the shit that you did for Diddy and the Ocho Cinco song and all of that, but my name. He's right. You're not whatever artist that you think, like this big time platinum selling super, that's not you, my nigga. You got a couple little records, you did the shit with Puff, I'm sure you made some money. Your chick looked good, Lola Monroe, I get it, my nigga. But the way you approached this face-off was horrible. I had Ill Will winning, but I did, I got him 3-0 now. I got Ill Will 3-0 versus King Lowe's. Because even when he battled, like, the battles that he had, they wasn't that crazy. The Daylight shit was cool. Uh, the DNA shit was not like that, and the Mickey Fag shit was not like that. I'm just being... In order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest, I'm not cutting no slack to none of you niggas. You was wildin' up there. You was talking to that man like he had no accomplishments, like he hadn't did shit, like he just battled against Hollow. You said you didn't even post a flyer? I wouldn't even promote him, I'm not saying his name, ARP. You gotta start booking some niggas that actually give a fuck, I'm sorry. You got to book niggas, I'm sorry you want the big names and I'm sure King Los is not cheap. If you're going to spend all that money on somebody, you might as well be spending no money on niggas that's going to be worth it, that's going to promote, that's going to be, you know, do the face off the right way. But this nigga's up here acting like he was too good to be there. What? Like, bro, you're not below it. You're not even the main event. You're not the main event. You are not. But you're carrying yourself like the main event. I don't know what it is. What killer you seen? I just don't see it in you, bro. What killer you seen? I don't see it in you. I don't see nothing I don't see in it in you. 75%. I don't see nothing in you. 75%. That's all I'm gonna bring. 
I'm sick of these niggas, man. Who the fuck said I'm bringing a hundred? I don't give a fuck what you bring. This Miss Seely Bray has a motherfucker think he crazy. This nigga bringing jokes and co- hey, this is what I'm saying. I'm not this joking. What I'm, I'm this not what I'm saying. laughing. This is what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just a man. And the way Ill will talk to you is the way a lot of battle rappers and battle rap will talk to you. They don't give a fuck about no accomplishments. They don't care about how big your house is and you got maids and butlers and shit like that. We, I'm here to tell you, we don't care. Because at the end of the day, if you step in that ring against Ill Will, who's going to be freestyling, going to be rebuttaling, going to still be bombing on you in every way, he don't give a fuck about none of that lyrical, miracle, mystical, critical shit that you're going to be talking about. So I'm just saying, listen, as fans and as battle MCs, y'all got to understand, we love the face off, we love the energy. I want to start there. Niggas, we love the face off and I love the energy that I saw in the joints that I saw. But when you walk around with like you too good and you don't have to, you don't have to do this and I never mentioned you and all this, bro, come on, bro. Like what are you battling for? What is the motivation? What is the motivation if you don't want to smoke the person in front of you? Like if you're not there to smoke the person in front of you, bring bars and have memorable moments, what are you here for? You ain't got no memorable joints. I'm sorry. Daylight shit, forgettable. It was cool. The holographic and walk right through them, that was cool, but it's not memorable. It's not a battle I'm going to turn on. If I'm chilling and doing nothing around the crib and I'm just got a day to free day, I'm not turning on you versus, I'm not turning on none of your battles. Not. It's not a narrative. It's just being honest. I'm not turning on a King Lowe's battle. I'm sorry. It's not happening. So, you got a lot going on today. And Ill Will just bombed on Hollow the Dawn. I'm sure you didn't watch it. But he just bombed on Hollow the Dawn in that blue room. All I'm going to say is this. We'll be back for the recap later. And if you know, like I know, you better be on your shit because that delusional shit that you was talking earlier, I couldn't believe it. I, I really went into it with an open mind. Like, I know Lowe's gonna come in, hey, bro. You talking about you got you got the shooters with you and this, that, and the third, bro. When you had to shoot the shooters, the shoot the snipers, you got the snipers with you. My nigga got the snipers. And what it will say when you said, I don't care about none of them bitch ass niggas. Don't care. Doesn't care. Just saying. Uh yeah, and now. If Los do, I'll go out there and smoke Ill Will. I will come back and talk about it, but Ill Will don't really get smoked often, so I'm not really... I didn't get that vibe. You know what I'm saying? I did get the vibe that, it's going, that it might get kind of crazy. But uh, as far as Murder Mook goes, like, bro, <laughs> like, whoa, what are you doing here? You know this is Big K. I know you try to make it seem like Big K ain't nice, so you try to downplay his ability, but his resume, he got a, easily a top... Top 10. This, he probably has a top 10 resume in battle rap. Resume, like overall battles, who he's battled, the stages, the things that he's done. You cannot try to downplay his accomplishments and make it seem like he's just going to go out there and get washed. Like, it's just not going to happen. That's the reason why, after seeing a face-off, and it can't happen like that, the things that people say, I, I'm reading the comments, they like, oh, Mook just gave away his third-round angle. Oh, third-round angle. Oh, I got Big K30. It's like... I don't have Big K30, I have Big K21. But um, we will see, we will talk about it. Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. Make sure y'all cop the pay-per-view. I definitely wanted to be in Atlanta, but uh, just came back from my daughter's softball game. It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on with the kids and all of that. And I be off two days a week. So when you only get two days off a week, it'd be really hard to pitch to your kids that I'm going all week and I'm gonna be going on the weekend too. So I love it. I ain't had to spend no money, I ain't catch no flight, I ain't get no hotel. I'm at the crib, I'm gonna be chilling, uh, you know, clean up. Rest. I might spend some money to give me some food. SP will be by later. And it's just a way better vibe. You know what I mean? And I was saying this yesterday. I was like, yo, you know what I realized with a lot of these events? Salute to the people that, you know, attend the events and are able to be there. Dog, I forget everything. I forget. I walked out of the last joint with, uh, I even forgot the damn battle. Hollow versus Ill Will. Bro, by the time I got to Waffle House, I ain't remember nothing. So I think for me, a sober, clear mind at home. You know, they be patting the drinks be everywhere. They be got bud in the air, bro. It's like, you not gonna remember shit. But uh, salute to RareBreedEntertainment.com. Salute to Lauren, Shot the Wing, all of the folks over there at Rare Breed Entertainment. I know how y'all do. I know the pay-per-view is gonna be good. Good thing it's not two events going on the same day, so I know y'all stream will be good. Rap Grid gonna be in their bag. And uh, I love the fact that Rare Breed Entertainment, they keep their events moving. They got 10 battles, and that shit gonna be over by 8, 9 o'clock. They will not be... No battle is going on at 11.30, 12 o'clock, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, Lotes, 
I hope it goes well for you, but if not, I will have my for you. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Gang, 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 I don't bang.